and a toe is a toe and a finger is a finger. How you doing? 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 It's my background. How you doing? Oh, come on. How you doing? Everybody, come on. It's the best of the Wendy Williams experience. Wish my old said that that's from City to Saint. As winners, we can't live by the pictures they paint. Because they know that all the inner is taint. So we must live out our lives with a sense of restraint. Which means, do I live and we ain't? We are controlled by the flesh, we're depicted in sway. What? <laughs> I'm snacking as I would do on air. I love it. Be right back. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Red. This is your boy Rufus. I'm the host of the RX3 show. Welcome to another great day. Another great hour. Not an hour. I'm used to saying hour. Um, on radio. But anyway, wait a minute. My mic is not plugged in, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. My mic is plugged in. But anyway, I thought something wasn't plugged in and it was my charger. But anyway, what's going on, y'all? Hope y'all have been doing good. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me. I'm, I'm just sitting here chilling, minding my business, newcomers. Thank y'all so much for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. I've been, um, it, just a little bit about me quick, been in the game for 11 years. Um, been, a, I've been a radio host for, uh, it'd be six years in, um, July and, um, yeah, and I love what I do. I love what I do. And so for more about me or my broadcast, you can visit my website at therx3show.com. And so, yeah, as you see in the title of the video, it is a um, uh, promo push for um, Wendy's new movie that is coming out on um, January the 30th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. And so, I'm um, giving y'all my thoughts and opinions on it. And then on Monday... I might do Sunday. I don't know. It just depends on how my schedule for the weekend goes. But um, on uh, between Sunday and Monday, I'll give y'all a review of it or whatever. And so, um, yeah. Uh, just start back how I uh, became a follower of Wendy, a fan of Wendy. Some ups and downs with me of me trying to get to her show or whatever. And so, yeah, it's going to be a quick video. Um, I'm trying to be, and so my leg is itchy, y'all. I have my leg propped up, and, um, yeah, but anyway, let's move on. Um, okay, let's say starting back, I want to say, I know, or let's just put circa dates, C-I-R-C-A dates, so early 2000, maybe 2001 or two, um, uh, I just stumble upon her listening to her here in my state and uh here in North Carolina and um I um how I stumbled upon her was one of the radio shows here um had heard what she said on air oh I forgot what it was and um it was very controversial and so it was like a boom like you know, um, I want I don't want to say roller coaster, but it was it was something very shocking of what she said on air. And it got it had caught buzz, let me say that. It caught buzz. Um, it had caught buzz of um, you know, of a lot of radio shows. And so they were saying this is Wendy Williams from New York and you know, this, that and the third, and so I was like, Ooh, she's bad. And so, um, uh, that was early 2000, and so, way early, early 2000, this was, matter of fact, 
this was when she came back from um, maternity and whenever she, after they ran her out of New York. Um, and then she came back to WBLS. She was at, I think this was like her, I don't even know when her first year, I'll put it on the annotation, her first year of back at BLS or back in New York at WBLS. And so, you know, her, let me see if I could, I have, a, I have one of her books here. And so let me see if it talks about it in her book. But anyway, uh, it was around that time. And so I was like, okay, I got to listen to her. At that time, she wasn't syndicated in North Carolina. And so I'm like, I got to hear her. And then going back and forth to Maryland, my family is, on my dad's side, some of them is from up north. And so I would listen, you know, in another room. I would listen or in the living room to her on the radio. And so, um, um, I'm pretty sure that was, yeah, listen to her on the radio and, um, and then I, you know, I still wasn't used to, I mean, I still did not listen to her on a regular being that she wasn't here in North Carolina. And so, um, a few years, probably not a few years, but probably about a couple months later, um, of, of course, AOL instant messenger was hot back then. It was popping. It was it was it was lit, and so I had a I had a lot of friends on AOL Instant Messenger, and one of my friends um, was from the area to where, you know, she was um, she was in, and so they would um, send little clips, audio clips. You could send then you could send audio clips through uh, Messenger, and so they would record, you know, just a little brief or whatever, not a lot. Uh, audio clips of her, you know, some of her radio broadcast uh, bits, you know, through the messenger. And so I would listen to her then or whatever. And I was like, okay, I just can't wait till she gets syndicated in my area. Then when it came to um, another bombshell moment was when, um, was when, um, let me turn to page 185. The R. Kelly thing came out and everybody was talking about, um, everybody was talking about, um, you know, Wendy and, you know, okay, they was listening to this DJ, this DJ out of New York. Of course it was Wendy and you know, what had went on and, and it was, you know, bombshell y'all at the time I remember, um, they played it over the air here. They played her part over the air here in um, North Carolina, over the radio. I think it was, was it Power 98 then, or was it um, um, 102? I think it was 102, 102 Jams. And uh, what it was, was it was her, it was Wendy, it was Kelvin, and it was some of their um, 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 on uh, in-studio guests, in-studio DJs or whatever. And they had just, um, Wendy had just watched the, um, alleged tape in a limo that was downstairs. And so, you know, she had got a copy of it and, um, she had listened to it in the limo. Her, you know, this was during the commercial break, her, Kevin, and I think the other, and they came back and she, when I tell y'all, she was so distraught, she was hot, she was she was, you know, in rare windy form. Y'all, she was, she was, she went in. She went in. And, um, um, I was like, gosh, this girl, this woman is going in on R. Kelly at that time. And so, you know, there was like, that was Robert. And, you know, I know him and I know how he look. And he, you know, he's saying that look and I just got the tape and y'all, and I, you know, whatever. And so she watched it in the limo then. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I was I, I was still blown by, you know, her her form and ways of doing radio. And so then then that time I um was able to this was even before they started doing the listen listen live on websites. And so I was still off and on listen to, you know, um my friend, you know, sending clips and, you know, um 
whatever through AOL Instant Messenger or what have you. And so at the time, whenever they got to listen live on the page, I was like, yes, I can do it. And so at that time, I started listening. I started coming home. Of course, we're on the East Coast, 2 o'clock. Let me jump on and click on the listen live button and listen to Wendy. And I wish I had my CDs and um, to show you all that I recorded. Um, I hope I'm able to say that, but recorded um, um, the audio or some of the broadcasts, you know, the times that I was listening live and I had a, a audio platform that would record over the internet. And it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all. How you doing? 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 It's my background. How you doing? Come on. How you doing? Everybody, come on. It's the best of the Wendy Williams experience. And so still at that time, she was not syndicated in North Carolina. Next thing you know, a few months or years later, a, a year or so later, boom, she got syndicated here in North Carolina. I, and, and only, uh, you know, I th she was on at the, at the same time as New York, but still not the bonus hour. And so I was still listening over, you know, the internet, um, to WBLS or whatever during the bonus hour. Y'all, at this time, I've all, even prior to Wendy, I've always wanted to be in entertainment, radio, whatever. And so, um, uh, I even wanted to do talk show TV, but then I, you know, would spend Saturdays listening to other, um, disc jockeys, um, Dick Clark. I would listen to, um, here, Skip Murphy. I would listen to a few others, even Countdown, Casey, uh, Kasem. I would listen to him on, on Saturdays. And when this jock queen came on, boy, she elevated. And I was like, you know what? I like how she do her stuff. I like how she rock. I like how she handle business or whatever. And so that was my, um, shall I say, Wendy Williams experience that I, you know, came upon of listening to her. And, you know, I didn't listen to her. Like I said, I didn't listen to her on a regular prior to her getting syndicated here in North Carolina or whatever. I would just listen to her, um, you know, through instant messenger or whenever I would, you know, at the time would go, go up north. And even during that time, I would try to catch it or whatever. And, you know, sometimes couldn't. And so whenever she got syndicated and was on a regular here in North Carolina, I was on a regular listening. Okay. And then, you know, of course, you know, time passes and, you know, leads on to her being on radio. So that's just my basic behind the scenes or talk and discussion of how I came upon a, you know, a big fan of Wendy because a lot of people are shocked. Like, you know, not really shocked, but they know me as a big fan of Wendy. Even in high school, they knew me as a big fan of Little Kim. And so that was, um, that was my, um, uh, that was my story and behind the scene talk of how I got, you know, hooked on the Wendy Williams experience. And so that was the name of her program. And so she was the queen of radio. This book here, y'all, is basic, based on, you know, her radio and, you know, her radio show and, you know, interviews and, you know, what have you and this, that, and the third. And so I, um, you know, hey, I loved how she, her work ethic or whatever. And so I just got this book. It's a replacement book, but I just got this book on today. And so um, this one is her autobiography, Wendy's Got the Heat. And so this is based on, you know, her life or whatever. And so I let someone borrow it during the travel time. They lost it. I never got my book back. And so, yeah, it'll still be looking just like this one. I'll read it, tat it, you know, messed up or what have you. And so I love it. But um, uh, with the new movie, throughout my years of knowing or knowing Wendy or following Wendy, I've been you know um a a a you know one of the um a, a you know few real men or few um you know gentlemen to um follow her, and so I I, I you know 
that that was my only thing of what caught me or you know drew me to her was her work ethic her her raw ruggedness her realness or whatever and how she did things and y'all she did the daggone thing and like she said in her book you know this is her junk this is the Wendy Williams experience you know she you know she was born to do this and so you know it was Robin Quivers um you know a lot of you know side um sidekicks but she not a sidekick she run her own show and so she run her own thing and that's what she did ran her own thing she was a boss at it and so, um, with the movie, there are, <laughs> um, uh, with the movie, which, um, you can see the trailer right here. It's your girl, Wendy Williams on the mic. I am here to stay. Wendy Williams is not going anywhere. I'm going to come in like a hurricane. So, Whitney, are you still using drugs? He wants to give you a talk show. Millions of people turn on the radio to listen to me. You're the star. I am going to tell it like it is. I'm becoming a real business. And I've been trusting you to take care of all of that. You're self-indulgent. You're narcissistic. You got a coke habit. He's having a baby with her. Before I had you, I had me. And not you nor anyone else have the power to take away my gifts. I'm gonna bring the heat. Let it go up in flames. Let it go up in I will turn this city out. A lifetime original movie, Wendy Williams, premieres Saturday, January 30th at 8, only on Lifetime. Um, I can't wait to see it. I've saw I I I've only saw little uh sneak peeks of it. And, um, I want it, well, I don't know because, I, like I said, I've only seen sneak peeks, but I wish that, y'all, my stomach, if y'all can hear my stomach growling, I'm hungry and it's late and, um, yeah, but, um, I, um, I, uh, wish well, I know, I've, of course, I know they're going to do the Whitney Houston interview part during her career. But I would have loved to have seen them reenact that limo scene with her, you know, just viewing that uh, DVD of Robert Kelly or whatever. And so, y'all, that would have been epic. The Judge Mathis interview um, would have been epic. Um and I, one of my another favorite interview, another favorite interview that I remember her doing was, <laughs> I can't find it online, but y'all, when she interviewed, um, I don't know if he was in there, but I do most certainly remember her interviewing back in the day, uh, Brigitte Nielsen, uh, Flavor Flav X girl. And, and they was in a, it was either a, a white Jeep or a white stretch limo. That interview was off the chain. That interview was off the chain. And so I remember a lot of people, a lot of um, regulars that called into her show. And I just can't wait to watch this movie. Um, those are the few things throughout her year, her, 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 her tenure as being the, the queen of all media, the queen of radio, Wendy Williams. And I, um, wish, you know, I wish it would be in there, but you know, I don't know because we've only seen certain, um, sneak peeks. Um, one of my favorite with her radio, with her TV, um, um, year or tenure was, the Statue of Liberty um, fallout or whatever. And as you can see, here's a sneak peek for that. Welcome back. It's time for our How You Born Halloween co uh, costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. So let's get started. Our first caress. Just take it, that's all. And um, 
Yeah, I, I, I just, y'all, whenever I tell y'all January the 30th, when it comes on, y'all got to cop, y'all got to watch it. You got to DVR, you got to, you know, do what you can to, to watch it and push and support her. Well, I don't like her. Okay, that's, that's on you. You talk about her, you, you know, say this, that, and the third. But she, when she come out on the movie, you know, putting, tell it, putting her life on here. And, you know, and she need to talk about her own. She's doing that. But you still talking trash. But, um, yeah. Watch it and, and see what's what. Y'all will not believe me. And I, and I know for a fact. And I'm going to say this and then I'm in the video. Know for a fact that um, one of my most favorite auto or well, biopics. Let's say that. Biopics was Good God Today. TLC. Y'all, that biopic, when I tell y'all, <laughs> that biopic was a mess. I liked, I, I loved it. I loved it. But how, y'all, that lit up social media for me, gosh, I loved it. But um, I was laughing at how they was acting about that Jeep, you know, how you know, blindsided they was with their then manager and how they dealing with pebbles and all of that and how she was lit um, even afterwards. And so if I can even find that winning interview, I'll put probably put clips in or whatever. But anyway, that's it, y'all. That's my push or whatever. And it is Thursday. And so um, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get my wish and dreams on um, having, you know, whatever, but if y'all watched a video, a couple videos back while I was on there and I got a phone call that was of, um, Sierra Payton's manager and, um, I was, you know, looking to get her on. And so, you know, I, I, I haven't, as of today, I still haven't got a return call, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. And so, Hey, the R3 show is still a big engine that could. And so we are on TV. No. Nah. I'm speaking faith talk, y'all. Faith talk. But anyway, we're just a, 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 a nice radio show with a nice platform, YouTube on here. And so, you know, hey, all is well. All is good. And so I dragged my foot to putting it in at the last minute. But all is well. I put in a request for Wendy to come on. But all is well. A lot of stuff um, going to be coming up in the future with her. Um, and so hopefully we'll get her on this, you know, show sooner or later. It'll be a RH three show exclusive, but um, that's my um my uh uh talk and discussion on becoming a Wendy uh fan or a follower of Wendy. Y'all will not catch me. Only time y'all catch me saying um how you doing or how the way she do it is if she's on here or if I'm on radio when you cannot see me. But in the meantime, in between time, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and to love God, love yourself, and love other people beyond words. For more about me or this broadcast, this YouTube channel, this radio show, all right, log on to my website at thearch3show.com, and I will see you all on next week. Well, probably, well, I'll do a, uh, a show on tomorrow, and so that'll upload, but hey, Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will see you all on Monday where we're going to talk about um, this movie here. And so, you know, hey, get it. Get these books. I think these books, I know this one is because I bought it. And so um, this one is my own personal copy. Well, both of them are my own personal copies. But I had this one since it's um, released. And so, yeah. But anyway, I'm out of here, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later, and I'll see you all next time on the RH3 show. And I do have the Ritz Hoppers and the Ask Wendy books. And so, yeah. I love you all for real. For, for, real, for real. And I'll see y'all next time. Wendy, rock it out. We here for you, mom. And so, I love you. And I, and I appreciate you. And Aunt Wendy. So, she's like a big sister. Um, best friend in my head. Let's say that. And so, I love her. I love her dearly. And, I, and, and I'm pushing for her. I'm pushing for her. And so a lot of things that she said in the past and in, in, in recent that I really um, have grasped onto. Like you are your own best friend and, and this, that, and the third. But anyway, 
I'm out of here, you all. Let's let's push and let's um uh, if you don't like it, if you don't like her, give her a chance and then just watch it and and see what she's you know what you all been you know sp speaking on and talking about you know throughout her year and her talking about people and so hey this is a time for you to talk about her she got a thick skin she don't care and so yeah i'll talk to y'all later and i'll see you all on the next uh episode of the rh3 show peace <laughs>